This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. Thank you for choosing News 4. Here are our headlines. This afternoon, Franklin County reporting its third coronavirus death. An 89-year-old woman has died in Washington. The latest numbers, more than 2,700 Missourians have tested positive. There have been 47 deaths. Illinois now has 12,265 positive cases and more than 300 deaths. Today, Mayor Lida Krusen announced the city of St. Louis is leasing a former nursing home in North St. Louis to shelter the homeless during the pandemic. This is the former Little Sisters of the Poor Housing Home on North Florissant Avenue. The city will work with City Hope St. Louis to operate and manage the facility. There will be space for up to 175 people. This is the new testing site for coronavirus in North St. Louis, located near Martin Luther King Drive and Union Boulevard. If you think you have coronavirus symptoms, call the number on your screen. Talk to someone at Care STL for a phone screening. After making the call, you may receive an appointment for testing. Now a quick look at your forewarned forecast. Hey, Steve, uh, warmer in the next couple of days, but a couple rounds of storms that could be severe as well. A lot of dry time, but here's the heads up on the first round. Potential for severe storms tomorrow late evening, talking after 9 o'clock on into the overnight. We're in that level 2 severe threat, that yellow. Level 1 is the lowest, 5 is the highest. But again, that's not until late evening. A high is going to be 80 degrees. But then we watch here on Super Predictor in the evening. There's Tuesday evening at 10 o'clock. A couple storms develop. Might start off as an isolated storm and grow into a cluster of a few storms that could produce. The biggest threat would be hail. Wind, also a threat. But we'll be on guard for anything when this thing comes through late evening into early Wednesday morning. By 3 a.m., most of the storms are starting to push south of St. Louis and out. So about 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. is going to be the time to watch. And then that's a weak front. So the flow coming in on Wednesday is still warm, a high of 80 degrees. There's another chance for some strong storms Wednesday evening. The timing there, about 7 p.m. to midnight, the time to watch. And that's why you see the weather alert symbol, that yellow bar at the top of the two days there tomorrow and Wednesday. Wednesday evening, Passover starting. We'll be on guard for that chance for storms, but a lot of dry time during the day and a high of 80. Now, big weather changes at the end of the week. It's all dry, but it's much cooler. Highs in the 50s. Chance of rain Saturday and even some showers could be prolonged and widespread on Easter Sunday. That's your News 4 update. Remember, we're always on at KMOV.com and on your KMOV News app.